right now I've uh, adjusted that uh, the second ring right obviously with that screw here there's now sort of tight right so it's not going to flop about okay now also the, the dot has just moved out right out of view all right you can see the dot and it's still way out what we're trying to do now is you're trying to move that dot in position to the donut as you can see the donut in the middle all right and that's what you try to do so what you're going to do now is you're going to just those three screws here okay you know you know each one you know do it obviously one at a time until you get the right movement and basically what you do is is do this as you can see I'm moving that uh, now using one screw this right and then do again uh, if one gets tight loosen one other side okay so keep adjusting it okay all right I'm going to loosen one and then tighten the other obviously there's a lot all right also I've gone back so I can to keep going tighten it up I'll see it takes some time but keep doing it you will get there also I'm getting nearer also keep just neat slacking one keep turning the other and it takes some time take your time as always and get closer so closer still almost there so closer You see, I'm getting really close to that dot now. Okay, I have to loosen one. Now it's it's usually fiddly, but this is on the worst possible collimation. Usually, it shouldn't take as long on on yours, but this is what I've done demonstrated that how how difficult you can get. You know, if you got a really bad one. Okay. Almost there. A little bit more tweak. Okay. A bit more tweak. And there we are. That's what you try to do, right? That's what you try to do. You've got the red dot now in the centre of the donut in the main mirror. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go back round. Okay. Now what you're going to do now is. As I mentioned about the sight glass being here to be facing towards the main tube, all right, all right. That's how far um, you can see where the red dot is. It's still not aligned. The second mirror is aligned, all right. And at this point here, all right, you want to try and move that dot into the middle of that hole, and then it should disappear. And the one way to do this is do this. Okay, right. See where the hole is. Right at the back, you've got your your main mirror. All right. Okay. These these big ones are your these are your adjustment uh, bolts. Okay. And the little ones are your locking bolts. Okay. And what you're going to do is basically what you're going to do is same again with the uh, second ring. You're going to adjust each one, loosen and tighten each one individually. So you move 
that uh, they say that that red dot interview right? that's uh, that primary mirror by tilting it with those adjustment knobs okay before you start make sure these are loose all right see these small screws are loose okay all right they're loose now what we're doing now we're going to adjust each one and then try and get that into uh, so it disappears okay so what I'm doing now is moving that uh, mirror also I've gone uh, too forward so I go back on myself as you can see the dot is now moving towards the hole okay that's looking very close all right all right adjust another screw okay now go up again okay oh look almost there and then just another one okay see that now now the the late the red dot is now disappeared into the hole all right and then what we do doing now is carefully uh, put your locking pins now what you do is when you put your locking pins in they will move that blaze beam slightly but that not to worry okay so just do it one by one keep adjusting it lock those bolts in there okay and do it once a time all right okay keep doing it keep just in it okay that's looking good okay and now obviously the holes uh, the laser's not there and a little bit more tweak I'll just tighten them up don't over tighten these lock bolts because uh, you know you don't want to sh strip the threads or something like that and that is basically a fully collimated Newtonian now alright it's taken me a little bit longer alright it took me about more than five minutes or so but the, the, the whole idea is I was doing it on the worst possible case where the secondary is is, is so out of alignment that it's not even aiming at the, the main mirror and now you should still what I do do a final check is I make sure I'll say uh, also I'm going to put the light on so you can see yeah that donut that obviously the laser beam is still down in the donut okay and that is now fully collimated now how that that is so easy to do in it that is unbelievably all right okay this is a big telescope all right and usually big telescopes usually can be quite hard to collimate with such a big mirror all right and that ju that's just just demonstrated that that's how easy it is to collimate a newtonian all right so you guys that are struggling or, or wondering that collimating a a, uh, a Newtonian would be uh, very difficult, but it's not. It's the most easiest things you can ever do. All right, providing you've got one of these laser collimators, you can go 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 wrong. All right, 30, 40 bucks, and the good thing about these laser collimators is they will work on any Newtonian. All right, despite right. All right, whatever size mirror or vertical length or vertical ratio, these will work for all Newtonians. So, so if you've got a few Newtonians, not a problem. But that just demonstrates how easy it is to collimate. So, everyone who's trying to scare among you or don't get a reflector and all that, don't listen to them because what I'm trying to do is that's you know that's so easy. There are other methods you can collimate. You can collimate uh, a Newtonian with a Cheshire eyepiece and all that, but to be honest, here, I, I I don't really find them very easy to use. But the laser collimator, to us here, is the most uh, I think it's really accurate, all right, to use. Um, okay, bear in mind, all right. Um, don't be too uh, picky about collimation, all right, too much. Um, a lot of people go into a lot of too much in depth from collimating mirrors and all that and getting it really spot on and all that. As long as you get that that red dot into the middle of the donut, it'll be fine. Alright, you come very, very, very close to perfect collimation. But 
like you say don't go too overboard and don't stress too much on collimation because it's you know this is all you need to do is do those following steps and your mirror will be will serve its purpose all right and they'll do its job right but uh, apart from that once you finish with it obviously make sure you re remove the locking pin in there in place and then you can start observing okay so um, thanks for guys for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.